of the year. Tate tries. Janowski's made a decent start. So has Laguta. Woffenden on the inside run here. Woffenden now goes right, but Laguta's got the lead. Woffenden is second. Janowski is third. Here comes Freddie Lindgren. Lindgren's in the mix, putting the pressure on here now. And Woffenden is under all sorts of pressure. Janowski charging through. Laguta running brilliantly up top. And the battle is on for second. Janowski's got it right now. And oh. here comes Lindgren on Woffenden as well. Oh, Artem Laguta, what a start it was. He's cleared off. He's going to win his first ball. Freddy Lindgren and Wolfenden really tearing it up for third place. Janowski's come through into second. Wolfenden now relegated to the back. Lindgren working big time. He's going to get 16 world championship points if he hangs on there. But for Arts and Laguta, this is going to be a career-defining moment. His first Grand Prix win and will lead the world going into tomorrow night. Yes, you're quite right, Kel. This man deserves it. The most consistent rider of the night. And Arts and Laguta of Russia wins the opening. Grand Prix of the 2020 season and his first ever Grand Prix victory in his career in his 30th appearance tonight. Congratulations, Artem Laguta! What a night for Artem Laguta, really has been in a class of his own, 62 seconds flat. What a time in the final, cleared off, really showed a clean pair of heels. And quite clearly the fans are on their feet, the Russians overjoyed with that. Green light on, and away from the start. Janowski's made a good one, look, Wuffenden is going wide here, and now that allows Lindgren the opportunity to sneak up the inside. Wuffenden's got speed, now he's going to try the outside run on his better uh, Rotslav teammate, and Janowski holding the lead. Slashnik is third, Lindgren's gone to the back, but Matze Janowski looking superb, wins this, he'll be on 38 Grand Prix points, and will be the new leader of the championship. Wuffenden wheel in the air, his time wasted, get it back down, boy. Done him, done Janowski a favour, it killed his momentum and now he's clamped smartly on the line, Janowski's got it. That lifting down the back straight from Wuffenden really put his pay to his chances tonight. Pretty much gifted the win to Janowski, barring mechanical failure, looking good, made the start. Down the back straight, looked a little bit nervous but he's pulling away. Smartly hanging on in third, Freddie Lingman relegated to fourth, but Janowski, the night is going to belong to him, Nigel. It's going to be his seventh Grand Prix win of his career. He's going to take up the lead in the World Championship. 38 points now for Matt Sajanowski. Wuffenden backs 18 points for his second place. So he moves on to 32 points. He's in the title hunt, all right. A magnificent performance. Yeah. And great to see Wuffenden great congratulating scenes. him. Class act. Yeah, class Both riders. Both riders indeed. A Vroslav 1-2. The fans are loving it, Knight. It is, and the green light is on, and away from the start. Doyle, Doyle made a good one off gate number three. Goodness me, he's got his chopping gloves on there, but Smarsnik comes through now. Bartosz Smarsnik has the lead, and the home fans are jumping up and down with delight here. Doyle is second in the white helmet colour. Lindgren is going to switch up the inside now. Oh. Manson battling away, but Doyle holding on to second place. Manson's going high and wide into the dirt, but he's adrift in uh, the fourth place now. But what about this from Bartosz Smarsnik? Doyle's got pace. He has indeed, the Australian brilliant away from the start, gate three working a tree for him, but Smartley held that inside line and was able to get himself to the front. Doyle suddenly has got that bike working and he's riding brilliantly in second place, turning his fortunes around, Doyle's coming on strong, there's a lap to go, can the Australian win here again in the Edwin Janssen Stadium, down the back straight night. Well, he's going to try the inside, oh, cut, Smartley spots him, now Doyle on the inside, Smartley's in the dirt, down to the line, they go! Smarslik just hangs on! What a race to finish the night! Smarslik wins, gets the 20 points, but what a race from Doyle! Doyle very nearly stole the win away! Fabulous respect between the two world champions! <laughs> Smarslik's had a crash! Congratulating Doyle! But that was some speedway race again there! <laughs> Jason Doyle suddenly finding the pace for speed! <laughs> Oh, fabulous moment. Grand final in Gorshop, here we go! And what a start from Doyle! Jason Doyle has got there, watch out for Lindgren in yellow, he's going to try the outside run, but Doyle has got there at the moment. Here comes Lindgren in yellow! Fast Freddie Lindgren! Will Doyle allow him the room? Oh, it's getting tight! Oh, and then Manson on the inside as well, Doyle's taking oh. it all! And now Lindgren tries the inside run, nothing's going to stop him here! Second place, the Danish boy pushing hard. Emil Sarfudin up out the back, still racing to be done for second place. Doyle on the inside this time, charges into second place. But Freddie Lee 
Hamilton. What a moment for him into the last lap. Yeah, Natsum won't be denied. Neither will Doyle. Oh, oh that oh, is great stuff, oh, Lewis. in second place. Yeah, Freddie Lindgren, though, here in his 30th Grand Prix final. It's going to be his fifth win. Oh! oh takes out Doyle. Oh, 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 was there contact there? There was indeed. Doyle puts his left arm in the air. Man is furious about that. And Freddie Lindgren, wow, what a performance from Freddie Lindgren. And Doyle goes straight to the race director, Phil Morris. Not happy with that. Leon Madsen literally riding Jason Doyle off the track coming out of the last corner. Freddie Lindgren, he doesn't care about that. He wins in fine style. Dramatic final here in Gorge of two nights of wonderful speedway. Fast Freddie Lingwin leading the World Championship on 66. It matches his number on his race jacket. There's something for you. Grand final here at the Marquette Stadium in Prague. We know everyone's one more here. Ty Wuffenden loves this place, but Smarslick is there. Oh. Smarslick has got the lead early on. Wuffenden's coming through the traffic. Oh. Oh. Up into second spot now. Vasilik is third, and Ty flipping off at the back. But Bartosz Smarslick, the reigning World Speedway champion, with seven Grand Prix victories under his belt in his career, in 26 previous finals. He's got the lead, but Wuffenden's going to push him hard here. He is indeed. Certainly, Emil Saifudin have missed out of gate number two. Smashing start from Smarslick. Wuffenden brilliant. Brilliant in that first quarter, he's got speed, he's charging hard in second place. 20 points for Smarslick will push him on to 79, he'll lead the championship. He'll lead the championship, down the back straight here now, just beginning to put away. Smarslick really capitalising here. Yeah, Bartosz Smarslick showing what a true world champion he is as he kicks on here. Wolfgang in second, third is Vasilik, so Fuganov's been left training at the back. 20 points incoming now for Bartosz Smarslik. Wuffenden with a handy 18 points here, though. That'll be good for him. But Bartosz Smarslik, the reigning champion, takes the check and flag in the Marquetta Stadium in Prague, and that is the eighth Grand Prix victory of his career in 24 final appearances. Bartosz Smarslik leads the World Championship. He's top of the standings, and he's defending his world title. Well done, that man. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarslik after the disappointing of not going back-to-back -back in Gorzhov, showing Great character, great strength tonight. They're away, no problem this time. Smarslick's made a good one, has got the drop on Lingren. Wuffenden's going high and wide Wuffenden. around the outside here. Oh, Ty Wuffenden do it. down the back straight, Ty Wuffenden! Wow! Oh, my goodness me! What a ride that was! But he's got Smarslick all over him. Doyle's come through into third and Lingren's at the back. But Ty Wuffenden, 20 points for him tonight. Well, that will put him on to 91 Grand Prix points. But Smarslick is quick here. He is indeed. What a first corner for Wuffenden. He made a beautiful start out of gate number three. Smarslick's hunting him down. I'm going to say Wuffenden, oh, up the inside. Smarslick pushing hard. Can he win? That would have been 38 points out of two nights for Wuffenden with a broken bone in his hand. I do believe there's something wrong there. Here we see Doyle in third place. Lingren's out the back. One lap to go, Smarz is going to throw everything at this. Yeah, he tries to chop up the inside and he's going to do Wuffenden here. He's going to charge up the inside, long track style. And now Wuffenden will try one last move up Getting the inside. Smarzlik's done it. Oh. Bartosz Smarzlik has won two Grand Prix in two nights and moves on to 99 points. What that is a final. massive result. And with Lindgren at the back, uh, there is daylight between Smarslick and Lindgren now. Wuffenden with 18 points. Terrific work from him. He moves uh, into a good position. Uh, Ty Wuffenden third before tonight, of course. That is a huge result. And I can't help but feeling that Bartosz Smarslick has taken a huge step towards defending his world title successfully. Wow, what a final that was. We had to wait. And Crikey did it deliver in spades. Wuffenden sensational off the first corner on the first lap. I thought for a moment he was going to win it, but Smarslick hunted him down and passed him brilliantly down the back straight. Here we go. Green light on. Oh, he's missed it. And away they go from the start. Janowski's made a good one. Now, although Smarslick's missed it, which way will he go here? Because he leads Wuffenden. Here comes Wuffenden on the inside. What a move from Ty Wuffenden. He's got the lead on Bartosz Smarslick. Janowski is now trying the outside run. Yeah, Smarslick at the back, but how much longer will be at the back, five, the back four as he charges up the inside of Wuffenden and really puts a squeeze on it? This will be OK for Smarslick, unless Wuffenden can pass 
Janowski here and make progress. Max Frick's in the lead. Yeah. Max Frick's going to win the Grand Prix. What a night for Max Frick. Unbelievable stuff from him. He's having the night of his life. Have I not mentioned him yet? You didn't know. <laughs> we will now. Max Frick from the inside. What a night he's enjoying. Superb stuff. The two teammates in actual fact. First, second and third to Brotswap here. They're all teammates in the Extra Liga. Smarchlick just missed out. He made a bad start and he's paid the price. But for Max Frick, it's going to be the night of his life so far. Yep, down to oh, the oh, oh, just about oh, straight oh, off. He nearly threw it away. <laughs> what a night for Frick. Yeah. He comes good when he really needed to. He rode superbly well in the semi-finals. Of course, the championship must take precedence as well. We must give it some time. But for Max Frick winning his first Grand Prix, I think we may see a bit more of this young man in the future. Got to have half a chance now. He's a winner of a Grand Prix to be a wild card for next year. The grand final in Torren and the final round of the World Championship. Oh, my and goodness. Freddie Lindgren's had a nightmare at the start. It's oh, looking like a runoff. It is indeed. Matt Sienowski with the lead. And here comes Artem Laguta. Jason Doyle will be cheering Matt Sienowski on here. Uh, Janowski has that lead. Here comes Smarslik up the inside. Oh! Oh, oh, stay on your bikes, boys. Don't ruin it now. And Smarslik is coming through. The World Champion again piles through. Here comes Janowski, but Smarslik closes the door. Unbelievable ride again for Bartosz Smarslik. Mate, you don't need to do it. You've already done the hard yards. But he doesn't know. He's a racer. He's a winner. And he's out in front and he's going to win the Grand Prix. Janowski was such a fine start. You've got to feel for Freddie Lingwin there. We don't know what's happened, but some sort of mechanical issue. We're going to see another race because Ty Wuffenden's going to have to warm his bike up because he's going to have to go head-to-head -head with Freddie. But for this man, he's going to be crowned world champion and... And the Grand Prix winner. What a result for Bartosz Smarslik. Rounds off the championship in some style and he cannot believe it. A shake of the head. He won the world title a few moments ago. He's won the Grand Prix now. A fairy tale night yeah. for Emil Saifutinov in Torren. Bartosz Smarslik. Um, but uh, what did I say? Emil Saifutinov. Somebody in my ear was saying Emil Saifutinov. Uh, Bartosz Smarslik has won four. <laughs> We're trying to work out these maths. <laughs> Emil Saifutinov wasn't actually no, in the he race. Wasn't. He wasn't. In the race. <laughs> I'm getting somebody uh, in my ear telling but, me the positions. Just keep quiet for a minute. <laughs> Bartosz Smarslik, that is an incredible finish to the night. Wow, the place has just gone crazy. He's won four uh, Grand Prix. He has been the outstanding rider through the championship. Fantastic. It's got tight at times, but by golly, when the chips were down, he has come through. Fantastic ride.